Hello again, it's Joey Joe McGuire. I'm in uh, Office One, the Oyster Rooms at Weatherspoons Pub, which is my local Weatherspoons in Fulham Broadway, which is situated on the first floor up this escalator above Fulham Broadway Underground Station. <coughs> Excuse me. Fulham Manfu, still. It's a wonderful pub, well managed. Uh, and all the rewards of a Weatherspoons pub will you be. It's a fine example. Lovely stuff. I've been coming here for years. Anyway, I'm about to recite my latest poem, written in the er early hours of this morning. It's called Death Throes of a Veteran's Soul. <laughs> Suddenly the air became haunted the fine hairs of my hackles stiffened and pointed, the whole surface of my skin popping with what felt like the ripple of developing goosebumps. My breathing shallowed and lowered to a whisper, my ear leaning towards the offending wall, for I could hear the familiar sound of distress crying, and knew that the sound of man sobs more often than not would turn into a whale. Curiosity and compassion saw me quickly extinguish the background interference, and as I listened intently, sure enough I could detect a weak pulse of an SOS. It was the loneliest sound in the world, as if from the depths of purgatory itself an eerie, continuous, unearthly sob that I recognised from hearing many times previously and experienced personally. Remembering my own hour of darkness, my heart began to sink with the pulse of the sobbing, and as it rose over ours to its crescendo, I remembered only too well the never-ending emotion-sucking, all-consuming tunnel of doom where I too had existed. My chest tightened like a vice as my heart shared the horror with this unknown fellow human being, for the depths of his torment held no mysteries to me. Like a parent listens to its child, I monitored the situation from a distance. I was the depth of a wall away. I identified the source of pain in that it came from a long-established weeping wound. I was listening to the soul of a veteran, slowly, slowly dying, offered no immediate help, for I knew his was a problem that only time, respite, and he himself would fix. It was mine to protect his haven, his cocoon and safe place where he could rest his weary head and sleep, to provide help when it was asked for, and food and drink to eat without charge or consequence. I felt overwhelmed by my incompetence, by my futile efforts combined with my lacking, but had to be satisfied in the knowledge that all the while he sobbed, his lonely broken heart was beating still. Joey John McGuire. For all veterans, especially the homeless ones, eh? especially the homeless ones in the United Kingdom in London. <laughs>